Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. I'm gonna get that package for Wes, but reception says one of our guys picked it up an hour ago. Uh, must have been Julian. <laughs> yeah, he's with that actress again, Jackie Carrington. I saw him sneak up through a room earlier. Damn it! I was kinda hoping the package had gotten lost. I mean, I know Wes Liston is a sucker for all things vintage, but brains are never too. Yeah, says it, that's Opal Michael. So, producer Wes Liston has ordered a vintage Branson MD2 vocal mic. This rare model was removed from the market in the 1960s after causing a number of electric shock fatalities. Apparently, a production defect makes the MD2 short circuit at high voltages. Sounds promising. I suggest you track down the crewman who picked up the microphone. According to his colleagues, this Julian is romantically involved with Jackie Carrington, a former sitcom star who stays in room 207. You know, the hotel owner's son. He was rehearsing a song with his window open, and I just couldn't stop listening. It was just... I thought Thomas Cross was a media mogul. Ah, these multinationals like to branch out. Investment, prestige. They own a football team, I think. Besides, the way I hear it, Thomas Cross is a total record. Acrophobic. Uh, I think just plain old paranoid. He's bought this island off the coast of uh, Costa Rica, and supposedly it's like impossible to dock, so you have to get there by plane. And they pay. And a security cord in there. But why? Well, it's in their pockets. And it had at least a couple of thousand baht. Why don't people check their pockets before sending them to the laundry? Well, did you keep them? No. I just think it's vulgar. There was at least a month's pay in that wallet. Yeah, I always think it's weird how they forget their key cards. Yeah.
Garçon? Damn it. Why won't you? Well, you're no quitter. I've got to give you that. Look, I can fix this. I'm homing in on the problem. I just gotta. Damn it! Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to ride home? It's not about that. There's his guest. Big shot lawyer fella. I'm seeing Heidi Santoro. He's a car. Buy it. This, this He's piece so of crap for like cool. an obscene amount of money. Go. I just gotta get the engine running. A guest wants to buy your crummy old tuk According to the hotel gardener, Ken Morgan wants to purchase his aging tuk-tuk as a souvenir. Unfortunately for him, he can't get the engine working. Well, you're good at fixing things, 47. I suggest you give the gardener a helping hand. This could be excellent bait. Tourists, right? <laughs> they just love authenticity. I don't know, the guy wants to use it as a golf cart at his Hamptons Country Club or whatever. <laughs> Be my guest, man. His folly is my game. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I guess I can stick around for a bit. You know, for moral support. Thanks. Oh, come on. Just work already. Good show, 47. It's time to close the deal. Keep the same high standards as we do in the kitchen, please. And now to deliver Mr. Morgan the good news. Out of my way, waiter.
Sorry, we can't have you technicians running around here. Not coming through. Hazard sign and call a glazier. You don't always have to do everything yourself. No. Oh! Would someone go see what the funk that was? Okie dokie. That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Right direction. Not the sound, buddy. It kind of reminds me. Uh, West bought a Branson MD2. Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Almost bankrupted Branson Tech There's back in the day. Yeah, well, why would West want to use a mic with a notorious production? Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Let's try a condenser instead, okay? Better. Great idea, mate. There's one stem down, three there. Hey, you're on a roll, mate. Two matches down, two to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. Keep at it, mate. Nicely oh, done, 47. Oh. With a little more adjustment, this should make for an electrifying performance. Hey, someone get Jordan in here. This is right up his alley. Ludwig Thompson find his keepers or... Kind of cool, how was How about something along the lines of the ravines into the frame? You know you know that cool sounding... Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about? Not a problem. Ready? Hey, hey, what's going on? Remove the mice. Your ears on this. Maybe, maybe this. Oh, mix. 
sounds awesome now, Wes. All right, yeah, let's have a go at the whole track. I thank you. Anyone see You're why these two know? Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the high moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. 
yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom?